condoms to be distributed to kids. Well, it has something to do with his lack of days on moral, moral background. He don't want us to be free. 6 p.m. JR and Jennifer are having dinner uh, with Frank Clark and his bait at the Spirit Club. Uh, dinner is T bone steak, baked potato, asparagus, and a choice of water, tea, or soft drinks. For drink, JR and Jennifer picked a Sprite. 7 p.m. Bishop Owen Breitling, Breitling gave the Sunday evening devotional about how to keep the Sabbath day holy. 8 p.m. Jagger and Jennifer sit down at the east entrance of the University Fountain by Sneed Hall to talk. So what are you doing this summer? Jennifer said. Well, you know, back in November, I saw the board, and he wants me to have an internship with my dad in Washington, D.C., J.R. said. You know, after having that crazy lunch with Charlie Nation, it's good to be with a sweet girl like you. And I just know that all kinds of opportunities are out there for you, Jennifer. All you have to do is find the open door. I know. My parents want me to go to summer school. But I think I'm going to get a special internship with the Heritage Foundation. That was my first choice. Then out of the blue, Dad said he was seeking uh, this appointment with the Clinton administration and he wanted me to come along and be a speech writer. Bill Clinton? What a joke. Dad knows I'm a fool. I was a fool to vote for him the first time. Jared said. 8.30 p.m. Jared and Jennifer go into the snack bar to grab a couple of drinks and sit and talk. 10 a.m. Jared's back in his room and finds out that Kevin McDonald is fresh back from the library. They talk about Jared's date with Jennifer Bowers. Hope you... Hope you enjoyed the adventure of J.R. Hendricks. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the adventure. It's J.R. Hendricks saying, come back sometime for the rest of the story.